What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another brand new installment of Renegades Reviews, exclusively here as always on the Casa D18 Studios channel. I, of course, am your host, the Renegade JJ Williams, and today we return to the water for the sequel to the 1954 Creature from the Black Lagoon, 1955's Revenge of the Creature, starring John Agar. Lori Nelson, John Bromfeld, Nestor Pivia, Grandin Rhodes, Dave Willick, Tom Hennessy in the role of the Gill Man when he's on the land, Riku Browning once again in the role of the creature when he's in the water, and in his feature film debut, Clint Eastwood. What's going on, everybody? Thank you for joining me here once again. For another brand new installment of Renegades Reviews. Like I said during the introduction, today we return to the water for the sequel to The Creature from the Black Lagoon, Revenge of the Creature. We have a different actor playing the Gill Man on land for this film. Tom Hennessy steps into the role. Riku Browning, once again, as I said, in the role of the Gill Man when he's underwater. And Clint Eastwood makes a very brief appearance in his feature film debut as a lab tech. Very blink and you miss it appearance. But enough about that. Let's get into the synopsis of the film. It's going to be a short one today. There wasn't a whole lot of stuff on Wikipedia for me to transcribe after I finished watching it. So let's get into it here, shall we? As our movie opens, having previously survived being riddled with bullets, the Gill Man is captured and sent to the Ocean Harbor Oceanarium in Florida, where he is studied by animal psychologist Professor Cleet Ferguson and ichthyology student Helen Dobson. Helen and Cleet very quickly begin to fall in love, much to the chagrin of Joe Hayes who is the Gill Man's keeper. The Gill Man takes an instant liking to Helen, much as he did with Kay in the previous film, which severely hampers Cleet's efforts to communicate with him. Ultimately, the Gill Man escapes from his tank, killing Joe in the process and fleeing to the open ocean. Unable to stop thinking about Helen, the Gill Man soon begins to stalk her as well as Cleet, ultimately abducting her from a seaside restaurant where the two are at a party. Cleet attempts to give chase, but the Gill Man escapes to the water with his captive. Cleet and the police arrive just in time, and when the creature surfaces, the police shoot him as Cleet saves Helen. Like I said, not a whole lot to go off of with the synopsis and everything. I do apologize for that. Had I known it was going to be such a short synopsis, I would have taken more dubious notes as I watched the film. However, it is what it is, baby, as we like to say both here and on the Jeff Meacham Network. But much like I discussed with the creature from the Black Lagoon yesterday, again, very much a product of the creature defending himself. The creature has been captured, taken out of his home, and placed in captivity. Very much akin to the animals you see at like Marineland or SeaWorld or something like that. You know, uh, I love going to SeaWorld. It's been a while since I've been, but I always liked going to SeaWorld and getting to see the animals up close. But those animals are not supposed to be in those tanks, in those cages. They're supposed to be in the ocean, swimming free. This film very much reminded me of Free Willy, which I'm sure I'll get into at some point, as the captured creature doing everything he can to break from his binds and get back to where he belongs, the open water, the Black Lagoon, 
the ocean, whatever. So again, you feel sympathy for the creature. And it's one of the things that Universal does so well with their monsters, is it makes you feel sympathy for them. With the exception of Dracula, the monster you sympathize with, the wolfman you sympathize with, the mummy, especially Karas, you sympathize with, and now the creature you sympathize with. He just wants to get home, back where he belongs, away from captivity. And it's it's a really great movie. This is another one of those sequels that is as good as, if not maybe a little bit better than the original. Few and far between, I know, for those type of sequels. But The Revenge of the Creature is right up there. Matter of fact, when it comes to my rating for Revenge of the Creature, much like the original, I'm going to give it four out of five stars. I thoroughly enjoyed this sequel, and I had never seen this one before. Aside from the original creature, I had never seen this or the third installment before. So those are brand new to me, and I really latched to this one. I also enjoyed the little love story between Cleet and Helen. I thought that was nice. I thought that was well done. It was slowly built. It wasn't anything rushed. It was just a nice, flowing, not forced love story. And I thoroughly enjoyed their chemistry together. I'm curious what you guys think at home. Those of you that have seen The Revenge of the Creature, let me know. If you're watching the premiere, leave your thoughts and comments over here. If you're watching on demand later in the day, leave your thoughts and comments down here. Whatever you do, though, when you get out there on social media, let's try to get those hashtags trending. Hashtag Casa D18 Studios. Hashtag Renegades Reviews. Hashtag Renegade Returns. And, of course, the ever-popular... Hashtag shenanigans. We interrupt this episode of Renegades Reviews for an important announcement about... Merchandising. Merchandising? What's that? Merchandising. Come, I'll show you. Merchandising, merchandising, where the real money's made. Make sure you go over to teespring.com slash stores slash Jeff Meacham Network for all the t-shirts you see here from the West Coast professor, Jeff Meacham himself, you can get shirts for the Jeff Meacham Network, Talk Wrestling, as well as the red and gold Meachamania shirts. And while you're there, don't forget to get your shirts of the Casa D18 Studios Brotherhood, the Dads on Wrestling shirt, the Renegade JJ Williams, Stat Boy Sports Bar, and the hashtag Stat Boy Approved shirt. Make sure you go over to teespring.com slash stores slash Jeff Meacham Network, and score your shirts today. Make sure you guys tune in tomorrow, right back here on the Casa D18 Studios channel, for another brand new installment of Renegades Reviews. When we return to the ha-has, and we catch back up with Abbott and Costello, as Abbott and Costello meet the mummy. Starring Bud Abbott, Lou Costello, Marie Windsor, Michael Arisa, Dan Seymour, Richard Deacon, Kurt Katch, and Eddie Parker. You're not going to want to miss out on that one tomorrow. Right back here on the Casa D18 Studios channel. Right back here on an all-new Renegades Reviews. When I take a look at Abbott and Costello and their encounter with The Mummy. To all my loyal fans and viewers out there tuning in for the premiere leaving your thoughts and comments over here. Thank you very much. I appreciate each and every one of you. Likewise, all my friends, fans, and viewers out there tuning in a little bit later in the day, watching on demand, leaving your thoughts and comments down here. Thank you very much. I appreciate each and every one of you. I appreciate all my loyal fans and viewers out there 
that tune in on a regular basis, showing me that love, showing me that support, going back to the archives, watching old episodes of Renegade of Wrestling, Dads on Wrestling, Scat Boy Rants, After the Bell, etc. Trying to dig those old episodes up, watch them, help boost my viewership hours so I can eventually get monetized, make some money on this endeavor. Thank you to each and every one of you guys who tuned in and joined me today, and I will see you guys next time.